Hello bees and welcome to the final episode of our adventure on the crazy terrain of Tet France. It has been an amazing week with crazy rocky hill climbs as I have never seen before, slippery downhills where you would pray to the god of brake pads and deep puddles of mud that felt like huge river crossing. However, this beautiful series comes to an end, so grab a beer and some popcorn and enjoy for the last time this French sections of the Trans Euro Trail, where we show once again how it is to be adventurous. We started very early on what I think it was section 4 of that, and at a certain point we just took a left turn on a random road, and this is how it looked like. Forest coming down here. I don't think this is part of the TED, we just chose a random path because we wanted to... Yeah, we want some off-road. <laughs> During the entire trip the guys made fun of my Yamaha and they were calling it the fart box due to all the popping. And at a certain point I just accepted the persona. Fart box. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 farts. <laughs> Such an amazing landscape. Look at all that yellow in there. It looks just amazing. Very, very beautiful. Okay, it starts. There's some big stones in here. Don't stop, don't stop. I'm holding it. Oh. Oh. I'm used to being the helper from my enduro background, so I think I took this role in France. The wet stones made it really difficult to get a grip, even with the traction control of the KTM. Hi, three. Two. Side, three, two. Day, day, day. Hi, three, two. Then pick a spot, eh? Hi, three, two. And after the KTM 890, the bigger challenge followed with the 1290 adventure. So wish us luck. Hey. It's my turn. You can see Laurentiu coming down to pay back for the help I gave. I was in a better position than the guys, but compared to them I have a heavy ass bike with no traction control or any electronics on board except the ABS that would be useless in this case. We're gonna have a bit more distance between us now because yeah, <laughs> we don't want to, that to happen again. Oh, I don't want to fall on the cliff. The GoPro doesn't do any justice to the steepness of this trail. It was kind of a trail where if you stop, it would be extremely difficult to continue. So you just had to gas it. Chris had a small problem here. And as you can see, I just had to go around it. A stopping was literally not an option. What the fuck is this? Besides the steepness, the length of it was absolutely insane, so it was a big endurance game. In total I have about 20 minutes of recording, but I will skip many parts as I believe you get the idea. From my point of view this was one of the most difficult parts of the TED we experienced. 
My hands were soaring and shaking and I was coughing from running out of breath. But it was just amazing to see what this bike could actually do. Oh my god! <laughs> Sometimes I would go in second gear and it was way better regarding the control, until I would be thrown away by a big ass rock. I would switch to the first gear and try to regain momentum, but you know, it's easier said than done. Oh wow! Finally, we made it to the top and we found this amazing plateau where I took the drone for a stroll. And I think the footage is iconic for the views that the TED offers. Let me know if you think the same. You know what people say when you enjoy a lot doing something? Just do it again. So that's why we decided to head back north on the same section 26, but in reverse, of course. We already know how cool this section is, but also what to expect from it. A bit wet because we had quite a lot of rain. But still nice. Nice and slippery. Crazy section 26. Wow! <laughs> I got a slap in the face from that branch with water. Oh my god, that's a mud fest. Last time we were here, it was smooth and dry, but I am not scared. If you saw the previous episode, called Mudfest, you will see that myself, together with the tires I have on my bike, make a perfect couple. Just look how smooth I am sailing through the puddles, just standing up and letting the bike dance. This time we will go around the puddle of mud, but in case it looks familiar, just go watch the submarine video. For now, I will just refresh your memory of what happened right here a couple of days ago. Oh, oh, oh. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, eight. I had to jump a very slippery route and I lost my balance, but I did not expect this rotten tree to be there and fall like it was in a circus. Good nobody got hit, but at least we had protective gear on. It would have helped. <laughs> 
And now that I clean the truck, of course they can also come easily. I enjoyed the riding on section 26 because it has very difficult hill climbs and downhills with big rocks, but at the same time it does not have too much road. Even between the technical parts you have a lot of flowy sections like in this footage with nice smooth turns and some routes you can jump over. The Hyper Pro suspension I have on the Tenere makes it feel like riding a cloud. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Hi guys. Spain? From Spain? Sorry? Spain? Oh, no French. French? All French. Oh, all French. Okay, <laughs> nice. You're from Spain? Uh, no, Netherlands and England. Oh, yeah. <laughs> far away, yeah. After meeting with the fellow French riders and having a small chat, we continued on the track, but not for too long as we were quite tired. However, tired or not, me and Dan somehow activated the race mode and started going all in. You cannot see him, but he was right up my ass while I was giving everything. The final words after the race from Dan the Dad could make a grown man tear down, and that's okay. Good race, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Good race. <laughs> this was not supposed to be the last day on the TET. We still had a bit more to do, but the next morning we found a radiator leaking from Rob's KTM and decided to head directly home. This being said, I hope you enjoyed all the videos from the French TET as much as we loved riding it. So bees, don't forget to like and subscribe for more adventures and see you soon!